Hi there. In this video I'll be answering a question about the time constant of an RC circuit. That's a circuit containing a resistor and a capacitor like the one shown. This is a question from the 2013 revised advanced hire paper. A student is investigating the charging and discharging of a capacitor. The circuit used is shown in figure 13a. It then says, with the switch in position A, like so, the capacitor charges. To discharge the capacitor, the switch is moved to position B, like so. The data logger monitors the voltage across the capacitor. The graph in figure 13b shows how the voltage across the capacitor changes during discharge. And this is the graph here, showing the voltage across the capacitor decreasing from the supply voltage of 12 volts to zero in a time just over 45 seconds. We're then asked to determine the time constant from the graph. Let's give ourselves more space to work out the answer. The important thing to remember is that after one time constant, the voltage across the capacitor will decrease by 63% of its initial value. In other words, after one time constant, the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to 37% of the supply voltage, remembering that the supply voltage in this case is 12 volts. That gives us 0 0.37 times 12, which equals 4.44 volts. We then have to find 4.44 volts on the y-axis of the graph. This line represents 4.25 volts and the one above it 4.5 volts. So 4.44 volts would be about here. We draw along until we hit the line then down to the x-axis. This gives us the time constant. Remember that in this graph time is in milliseconds. Also each minor grid line on the x-axis represents 1.25 milliseconds which makes finding the value of time constant slightly trickier. We should get a value of around 9.5 milliseconds, although any value from 9 to 10 milliseconds is acceptable. Part B of the question asks us to calculate the resistance of resistor R. We've seen how to find the time constant from a graph of voltage against time as the capacitor discharges. Time constant can also be calculated using this equation by multiplying resistance R by capacitance C. We know from the graph that this gives a value of 9.5 milliseconds, or 9.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 seconds. To find resistance, we just divide both sides of our equation by C, giving us resistance R is equal to time constant T divided by capacitance C, which equals 9.5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 385 times 10 to the minus 6. That's the value of the capacitance shown in the circuit diagram. So R works out to be... 25 ohms. Now it's important to also know how to find the time constant as the capacitor charges. Let's look at the graph of voltage against time which would be produced when the switch is moved to position A like so. So as the capacitor charges the voltage across it rises like so, finally reaching the supply voltage of 12 volts when the capacitor is fully charged. Remember that before when the capacitor was discharging the voltage across it decreased by 63% to 37% of the supply voltage in one time constant. Here though, the voltage increases from 0 volts to 63% of the supply voltage in one time constant. Make sure you also know how to calculate time constant from a graph of current against time or charge against time as the capacitor charges or discharges. I'll go over this as well as the equations governing current and voltage in an RC circuit in a future lesson. That's us for now though. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.